All right, hi everyone. Let's go through this again um, very briefly and move on to the last stage. So we've been able to draw with pen tool and come up with a range of shapes from the simple to the more complex. Okay, um, we've learned how to fill it with color. Um, we've learned how to take one half of a symmetrical design and flip that around. We've learned how to put gradients over our designs. Okay, then we put this together and created a range of uh, motifs, okay, radial design motifs. Okay, so these are the ones that I came up with in the end. And you can see that this one here, um, and this one, and this one, basically the same. So this one, I've just created a radial pattern of this. So I've shrunk it down and did the same system as usual. This one, I did that, um, I took back uh, the line. So the black line is much thinner and we've got just a simple circle over the top of there. It doesn't look like it's actually a line properly, but that's fine. Um, and you can see that I've done it for the skull and this butterfly. Okay, let's zoom in on the skull. You notice here though that I've got a bit of an effect here. Um, so basically um, it's not a useful effect for this one and we can find effects for other effects. There's lots of different things here to explore. Uh, people will often get carried away with these, but I'll just quickly show you the drop shadow. Okay, so you need to press preview to see this in action. Now you can see this is quite a fuzzy one, and you notice that it says blur. Okay, so I might want to blur it right out, depending on the situation. But because it's a fairly crisp design overall, I want to keep it that way. So I want to keep it like this. Um, opacity is 75, so I want down so you, you can't see that so much. You might want to get a bit wild and change up the color of this so-called shadow now. Um, and you can offset it in different ways. So this is something I'd recommend you play with to explore um, on your own designs, but I'm going to cancel that. Okay, so we have these different elements here and we want to sort of put them together, okay? So I'll just show you my final one. My very busy, wild sort of uh, design here. All of those this sort of layered over the top. Now you see the butterfly has the drop shadow. The skull has the drop shadow. This uh, sort of shape at the back has the drop shadow. Some of the other ones don't. So the middle uh, skull doesn't. This sort of you know flower shape behind there doesn't. Um, and you notice that they're all different scales. So you know, the radial uh, size is different. So over here, they're sort of relatively the same, uh, but I've had to sort of play about, uh, play around with, you know, what size of certain things, you know, is the skull going to be the biggest and going around the outside? Um, but I wanted the gray to contrast with this sort of palette, of basically orange and purple. Yeah, fairly simple. I didn't want to spend, you know, spread the, whole spectrum over this. I wanted sort of neutral gray um, alongside this sort of orange purple sort of idea. Now, to show you how to do this, I'm just going to step back a bit. You'll see that I've got a few bits of basically three pages on this document. It's a really useful way to work. You notice that in the last videos I went all over the place and just played with it. Now I'm sort of getting to the developing stage. So I've taken the main elements, put them on one page, uh, did the radial work on them, put them on a second page, and then ended up putting on the final. Now, essentially, I would probably do different iterations of this until I came up with something I was really happy with, but that's uh, for another day. Now, to get a piece of paper separate from the original um, or to manipulate the ones we're working on, we can go to File, Document Setup, and press Edit Artboard. So you've got the artboard here. So maybe you don't pay, you know, you're doing a drawing, you don't want to drink it, uh, shrink it down too much. So you just sketch that out. Or in this case, we're just going to make another new page. Now I usually work from like left to right in consecutive things. So it's sort of ordered. I might go maybe three and then start underneath and keep going. So we ended up with a big sort of grid. Um, but for this one, I'll just put it up at the top here. So I'll just show you how I was starting to put these together. Uh, we're going to do a bit of revision here in a sense. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to copy and paste this. I just work through this. Welcome with. All right, now let's just zoom in. See what's happening. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do um, is maybe change up the stack. Okay, so got this one. Maybe I want to bring it up. Okay, it's just holding shift so it doesn't go out of proportion. Right? Um, the other thing. The next thing I want to do is to send this back. So I'll press highlight it, press the, the right uh, mouse button, and I go to arrange. So this is arranging not uh, sort of the different layers of the picture. You know, you can do you can work with layers, but you can also work on one layer, something like this. So we've got bring front, bring forward. So it's just one step. We'll send back one step, or send right to the back. Um, so if I had a third thing, um, I could sort of stop it in and out. Uh, so that's there, there, no problem. Okay, that'll do at the moment. Let me pick this down just a little bit. Um, and uh, let's see. Okay, so that's, let's just put it over here. Um, and maybe let's grab one more. Yeah, this one here. Now I'm doing this so I can show you how easily um, we can just align this, okay? So align, we've got our 30 uh, horizontal align center. Um, feels like a vertical center to me. I don't know why they call it that. Uh, opposite. Now we've basically put the center there, and the center there. We have this on our page like this. So this one's almost better than that because it's uh, less busy. Um, I was just going all out. Where do I like to go? Yeah. All works and then strip it back to the normal thing there. Okay, <clears throat> let's just have another look at this. Let's stretch this out and shift. So now oh, it's exactly where I want it on, on top of the back one. Um, let's imagine we just step this, uh, bring, bring forward. Bring forward. Okay. I'm just doing this. You can look at the uh, shortcuts later. Maybe it's only because it's three. <laughs> Let's just bring the front. Okay, there you can see how that should work. Um, if there's more, it just, if there's four or more, it brings it one layer ahead. Let's undo that. All right, that's basically this video. So let's play around with all the different ideas that you've got. Um, see if you can come up with a color palette that's not uh, too, you know, over the top. <laughs> a little bit like mine. I'm almost happier with this final idea. Um, with just simple motifs, but just run from the whole thing, and you can see we can zoom in and just with this illustrator, this particular program that is, we can so now we have a document that never looks like it can be great for a billboard and or business card. Um, a good thing to do with the final design also is to zoom out and see what does it look like at a distance. So this shape is still working with you can't see the details. And the color in the top. So it sort of works. I sort of even prefer this one at the end. Alright, that's it for this video. Give it a go. Uh, finalize your work and have fun with it. Yeah. So yeah.